has for each one of us. And that is the prayer. Lord, let me fulfill your divine will for my life, who you created me to be, to the fullest possible extent for your kingdom. That it can be done on earth as it is in heaven. And then we step into our destiny. And God is with us. And we can walk out who we're created to be. We need to stay out of the pit that the world drives us into. The world would just suck us in a whirlwind into the dark places daily if we're not on guard. There's a blind numbness that's full of fear and lies. We stay awake. Stay awake, O sleeper. Arise, church, and behold the Lamb of God, whose scripture says, was slain for us before even the foundations of the world. It is finished. God wins. And let's be victorious. If we keep our focus on Jesus, beholding the Lamb of God, we cannot fail. And if we find ourselves weary, which we do, we don't quit. But we take a moment. We receive the sacraments. And we are comforted by his, comforted by his word. And we reflect on the truth. And then we move and move and move and move. Because Yea, though I walk through the shadow of the valley of death, I shall fear no evil. For thy rod and thy staff comfort me. He leads me to still water, and my cup runneth over. Jesus is our sanctuary and our strength. And we believe him when he says to us, Come to me, all who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take up my yoke and follow me. For I am meek and humble of heart, and you will find rest for your soul, for my yoke is easy and my burden is light be the light amen amen, amen. 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 Joanne. we have a word a motto we are not woke As we behold the Lamb. Amen. 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 Praise God.